Hello all, welcome back to my YouTube channel All About VLC. In our previous series of FSM design, we have seen how to design your 1010 overlapping sequences, simple 101 overlapping sequences, and we have seen different cases. So if you haven't watched those previous uh, uh, series of FSM design, please go and uh, once revisit them so that you will come to know what we are actually doing. So in this particular video, we are going to design your uh, sequence detector, which is going to detect a sequence 1010. Uh, where it is a overlapping sequence what do you mean by overlapping sequence what do you mean by non-overlapping sequence everything we have discussed in our previous uh, series so please go and uh, please revisit them and here your output is toggle okay your output is also toggling so what is this output toggling also we have discussed in our previous series okay the playlist link will be uh, given in the description so please uh, revisit those series if you haven't watched them and if you don't know what is meant by this output toggling states everything yes so for this we are going to develop your melee fsm we are going to see how to design your melee fsm for this 1010 overlapping output toggling case now if we uh, apply your reset then we are going to a state which is known as idle state and from this idle state, if you give zero, we are going to stay in the same state where your output is still zero. And if you are going to one, give one, then your output is still zero and your uh, next state is equal to S1. Okay. And if you are going to provide one more one, you are going to stay in the same state and your output is still zero. Now, if you are going to give one more zero, you are going to next state, which is known as H2 state where your output is, is equal to zero. Now one zero followed by one more zero, you are simply going to idle state because your sequence is not at all building. Okay. And if you provide one more one, then you are going to a state which is known as S3 state. One output is equal to zero. You are going to a state which is known as S3 state. Okay. And one zero one, if you have the sequence one zero one followed by one more one then your sequence is not building but you can reuse this particular one so that's why you are going to a state which is known as s1 state where your output is still zero and one zero one zero one followed by one more zero if you get one more zero uh previously we were going to idle state but here we need the output to be toggling so that's why we are going to a state which is known as s4 state where your output is becoming one we are going to s4 state and now, so we are in S4 state, we have the sequence 1010, uh, we have the sequence 1010. Now, if we get one more one, then we can reutilize this whole 101, we can reutilize this whole 101 because we are talking about overlapping. So that's why what I'm going to do, if I get one more one, I'm going to stay, I'm going to uh, next state which is known as S5, okay. Where your output is only one, it is not getting toggle. Okay. Until the sequence is again repeated, your output will not toggle. And if you get one more zero, then your sequence has been built and you're going to a state which is known as uh, S2 because you can reuse this one zero again, right? So that's why we are going to a state which is known as S2. If you are getting zero and your output is equal to one. Now, if you are in S4 state, you have the sequence 1010. You are in S4 state and you have the sequence 1010. And if you get one more zero, and if you get one more zero, then you are going to a state which is known as S6 state, where your output is one, and the state is S6 state. And if you are in uh, S6 state, you have the sequence uh, 0 and if you get one more one, you are going to the next state which is known as S7 state. You are going to a state which is known as S7 state. If your input is equal to 1, output is still maintained to 1. And if you get one more 0, then your sequence will become 10. So, this S4 state is a sequence which is already having 10. Okay, so that's why what you are going to do, you are going to S4 state. If you get a 0 and your output is still 1 and if you get 1 you are going to S5 state and so on okay and in S6 state uh, if your input is equal to 0 you are going to stay in the same state where your output is still 1 and here uh, sorry your output will toggle here 0 by 0 okay yes. so this is how you are going to develop uh, your FSM 
design and here uh, one instead of zero if you get one more one you are going to stay in the same state only output is equal to one yes so this is how you are going to develop a melee overlapping fsm for 1010 where your output is getting toggle now let us try to understand your uh, more non overlapping sequence more non overlapping sequence for the pattern 1010 where your output is getting toggled now so if we get reset then you are going to a state which is known as idle state where your output is equal to 0 and if you get one more zero you are going to stay in the same state and if you are going to get one you are going to next state which is known as s1 where your output is still zero and followed by one more one you are going to stay in the same state followed by zero you are going to next state which is s2 where your output is still equal to zero now if you are in s2 state and if you get zero one more zero you are going to simply a state which is known as idle state now if you are in s2 state and if you are getting one more one you are going to a state which is known as s3 state where your output is still equal to zero and if you are in s3 state and if you are getting one more one then you can simply go to s1 state same as your previous uh, fsm so that's why i'm not uh, same as your previous fsm now okay yes now if you have 1 0 followed by one more zero you are going to next state which is known as s4 state where your output is made to 1 okay now we are talking about non overlapping sequence now if you are in s4 state you have the sequence 1 0 1 0 and if you get one more one you cannot reutilize this particular previous sequence and you cannot build it okay since because we are talking about non overlapping so that's why uh, if you get one more one you will go to s5 state where your output is still 1 okay and if you get zero you are going to stay in the same state only and if you get uh, one more one you are going to stay in the same state only and if you get one more zero you are going to next state which is known as s6 where your output is equal to 1 and if you get one more zero then your sequence will become 1 0 0 then you cannot reutilize this particular sequence right so that's why you are going to s4 state now if you get one more one then the sequence will become 1 0 followed by 1 where your state is s7 and your output is equal to 1 and if you are in s7 state you have the sequence 1 0 1 and if you get one more one then you, you can reutilize this particular one so that's why you are going to s5 state and if you get one more zero you are simply going to idle state from s7 state so this is how you are going to uh, draw the fsm for more non overlapping 1010 1010 1010 sequence where your output is getting toggled now let us see more overlapping sequence more overlapping sequence more overlapping fsm for the sequence 1010 1, where your output is getting toggled output is uh, being toggled so let us see this one now if you again if you apply the reset signal you are going to a state which is known as idle state where your output is still equal to 0 and if you give 0 you are going to stay in the same state and one s1 state where your output is equal to 0 and if you give one more one you are going to stay in the same state and if you get zero you are going to s2 state where your output is equal to zero okay this we already know and if you get one more zero you are going to a state which is known as idle state this also we already know okay and followed by one more one then your sequence will become 101 okay then you are going to a state which is known as s3 state where your output is equal to zero and if you get one more one then you are going to s1 state this we already know this we have already drawn that's why i'm going in a little bit pace yeah now if we get one more zero then our sequence will become 1010 10. okay so that's why i'm going to a state which is known as s4 state where your output is equal to 1 now so if we are in s4 state we have already the sequence 1010 10, and i can reutilize this particular sequence 10 for building the another sequence because it is a overlapping sequence so that's why what can i do 
if I get one more one, then I can go to a SY state where your output is still equal to one. But if you get one more zero instead of one, if you are in S4 state, you will go to one more state, which is known as S6 state where your output is equal to one. Now here in the S5 state, if you get one more zero, then your sequence will become when you are in S5 state, you have already the sequence 101. And if you get one more zero, your sequence will become 1010. So that's why you are going to, and you can also reutilize this particular one zero. Okay. So that's why you are going to S2 state from S5 state. And if you get, uh, instead of zero, if you get one, then you are going to stay in the same state. Sorry. Uh, and if you are in a six state, you have the sequence uh, one triple zero. And if you get one more one, you're going to the next state, which is known as S seven, where your output is equal to one. And if you get one more one, you're going to stay in this particular state. And here, if you get zero, you're going to stay in this particular state. Only. And if you get one more zero, then you are going to S four state. And in S5 state, if you get one more one, so in if you are in S5 state, you have already the sequence 101. And if you get one more one, then the sequence is not matching, but you can reutilize this only this single one. So that's why you're going to S7 state if your input is equal to one. Okay. I think in the previous uh, melee overlapping also, here it is not going to, uh, where is this melee overlapping? Here also, I think I have messed this. So if you if you are in S5 state, if you get one more one, you are going to S7 state. You are going to S7 state where your output is equal to one. Okay. Yes. So this is how you are going to draw your Murray overlapping, melee overlapping for the sequence 1010, where your output is getting toggled. Now let us try to uh, draw a FSM which is going to detect whether the given input bitstream is divisible by phi or not. So let's say this is your FSM. This FSM has your signals clock, reset, data in, and divisible. And this particular FSM it is going to detect whether the input is divisible by phi or not, whether it is divisible by phi or not. It is going to uh, check. Okay. So if it is, if the input is divisible by phi, then your output will be divisible signal will be equal to one or else the divisible signal will be equal to zero. For example, uh, this data in it is a serial input. It is a serial input. For example, if your data in is equal to zero, then your output will be equal to one. Since zero is divisible by five, your output will be equal to one. And if you get one more zero, then also your output will be equal to one. And if you get one, since one is not divisible by five, you should get your output as zero. And if you get zero, your output should be equal to zero. And if you get one, your output should be equal to one. And if you get one more zero, your output should be equal to, sorry, here it will be equal to zero and your output will be here. It will be equal to one. So since uh, it is 10, okay. And for five and 10, it's divisible, right? And if you get uh, like this, it is going to detect whether your input bitstream, continuously it is going to detect whether your input bitstream is divisible by five or not. Okay, this we have to design. Now for designing this particular circuit, what I'm going to consider is the reminders. So let's say if I apply my reset signal, then I'm going to a state which is known as idle state. For this, I'm going to draw the more FSM where your output is still equal to zero. And if you get one more, sorry, in the, for this, I'm going to draw a more FSM. Now, if I apply my reset signal, I'm going to a state where your reminder is equal to zero. And in this particular state, your output is equal to one, divisibility is equal to one. And if you apply zero, you are going to stay in the same state. Okay. And 
if you are going to apply 1 then the sequence will become 0 1 where your reminder is equal to 1 so that's why you are going to a state if you apply 1 where your reminder is equal to 1 and your output is equal to 0 here r not represents r not represents the reminder is 0 and the number is divisible divisible is equal to 1 r1 represents reminder is 1 and the number is not divisible okay this is what i am going to design now if i get one more zero then the sequence will become 0 1 0 which is not divisible by 5 and your reminder is equal to 2 so that's why i am going to a state which is known as r2 state where your output is still equal to 0 but instead of 0 if you get 1 then your sequence is 0 1 1 then that is 3 so 3 is also not divisible and your reminder is equal to 3 okay so you are going to a state which is known as r3 state where your output is also equal to 0 okay now if you are in r3 state you have the sequence 0 1 1 and if you get one more 0 then your sequence will become 6 and uh, your reminder if you divide 6 by uh, 6 and 5 uh, then your reminder is equal to 1 okay so that's why you are going to a state which is known as r1 state if your input is equal to 0 now if you are in r2 state you have the sequence 0 1 0 and if you get one more 0 then uh, the sequence will become 4 and if you divide it by 5 then your reminder is equal to 4 okay so that's why you are going to a state which is known as r4 state where your output is also equal to 0 now so if you are in r2 state you have the sequence 0 1 0 and if you get 0 you are going to r4 state and if you get 1 then your sequence will become 5 then 5 is divisible by 5 right so that's why you are going to a state which is known as r2 r r not state because your reminder is equal to 0 okay so if you get 1 you are going to r not state now if you are in r4 state you have the sequence 0 1 0 0 and if you get one more 0 then the sequence will become 8 that is it is uh, if, we, if you divide you will get the reminder as 3 okay so that's why you are going to a state which is known as r3 state where your input is equal to 0 now if you are in r4 state now if you are in r4 state you have the sequence 0 1 0 0 and if you get one more one then the sequence will become 9 and the reminder is nothing but 4 okay so that's why you are going to stay in the same state that's it so this is how you are going to design a fsm which is going to detect whether the number is divisible by 5 or not so that's all about this particular video i hope you have understood this particular sessions yes so if you like this particular video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel all about VLSA. thank you for watching this video